Hi, Bob, Hot Rod Roar from Cloughy. I'm going to go into hydraulic separation. Hydraulic separation, a lot of syllables in that word. It's usually referred to as a hydro separator, much easier to say. And it's also referred to as a low loss header sometimes, sometimes a decoupler. Different manufacturers call them different things. And I'm going to explain how they work and what the benefit of them is. Probably the best way to do that is that I brought a cutaway along with me here. So this is the Cloughy hydro separator. And basically what a hydro separator does is it's separating the primary from the secondary side. Think of it as a, a primary, secondary, closely spaced T's here and closely spaced T's here. So what's going to happen with this, let's assume that your, uh, your source side is over here. You're going to have boilers over here. It could be a chilled water application also. You might have a chiller over here, a boiler over here. You might have multiple boilers over here. So each one of those sources is going to have their own pump and the pump's going to be sized so it overcomes the pressure drop in that device. So let's say you've got two boilers over on this side. Let's go over to this side now. This is your distribution side of the hydro separator. And over here you're going to, let's call it, a couple multiple radiant zones are coming off this size. Let's say everyone's got a different size pump. The pump requirement, of course, to meet the load of that circuit. So the goal of the hydro separator now is to separate the flows so that they don't conflict with one another. So if one pump's running over here on the source sides or two pumps are running over here on the source side, it's never going to induce flow on these ports on the load side and vice versa. If there's a condition where the, um, some of the load pumps or some of the pumps on this side, the load pumps go into your um, heating or chilled water circuits are running, it's not going to induce flow into the, into the chillers or into the boilers. All right. What I'd like you to do is get a copy of uh, Cloughy Hydronics number one, and we talk a lot about hydraulic separation. We've got some great graphics in there that kind of show some colored diagrams of what's going on in there, and that'll um, help you understand a little bit better. Now, we did put a couple more features in here. We enhanced this a little bit more. And we've got up here this little, um, in the cutaway, you can see it's a little sharp uh, metal device, and that's called a flow straightener. And it actually serves two purposes. It, it, it ensures that when the flow comes in through here that you don't get turbulence, that it can bypass and go down and make its circuit back here. But also by making it with sharp edges like that, it's going to do a lot of air removal for us. So the bubbles coming through there are going to cling to those sharp surfaces like it does in a, um, an air separator. And of course, it'll go up into the vent. We give you a vent on the top here, also a check valve on it. So that's going to give it an air removal on the device. On the bottom end here, we're going to give you a ball valve with a um, hose connection on it that you can flush any dirt and debris because it's going to act as you can see how we've extended the, um, the bottom of this a little bit, the barrel on the bottom of it. So any dirt and debris or weld slag that might have been left in there is going to settle to the bottom and then you can blow it out here. One last thing that we give you on this here is this port, and it's been drilled for a display unit, but um, that's a temperature port, so you can screw that out, and we've got a temperature well that screws into there. It's a dry well, and now you can stick a sensor. A lot of um, installers like to trigger their boiler or their chiller from a sensor that's going right into that water, because that's a good sampling point for what's going on in your system right there. It's central to the separator, so it's going to read accurately on what flow uh, temperature is going through there. So that's been used a lot of times to um, put a sensor well. A lot of guys, too, can take that out and put a, uh, a temperature pressure gauge there. So now you know the temperature that's going through your separator as well as the pressure in your system. Put a rear mount uh, pressure temperature gauge, which Cloppy offers also. So that's the basics of um, what it does for you, how it works. Also, like a lot of the Cloppy components, we offer a nice insulation uh, clamshell jacket for it that you put on. It has a little um, sticky tape on the back. Peel that off and it sticks on there. Um, so you can insulate that. What I'd like to do next is take you back and show you one of these in action here in our, uh, in our mechanical room. I'm here by a, a hydro separator that we have installed in our building in Milwaukee. This happens to be a two and a half inch. You can see they've taken and put in uh, sweat companion flanges to connect into this. So on this side here, I don't know how many of the labels you can see, but this is where the boilers, we've got actually four boilers connected to the, uh, the um, supply side of this. We've got um, uh, condensing boilers, so we operate and modulate them at different temperatures. So four boilers, four different pumps over there, and they can flow through here without conflicting with one another on the boiler side. And then over here on the distribution side, we've got a whole series of pumps on this wall. We've got um, air handlers, we've got radiant zones, we've got panel radiators, and the same thing. When these uh, pumps over here run, regardless how many pumps kick on and off, it's not going to induce any flow into our boiler side circuit. So. That's what one looks like installed. We've uh, geared it up with a lot of sensors just so we can uh, keep an eye on what's going on in the system. That's why you see so much piping around here. But it's a pretty nice clean installation and it does a good job with our building and I know it'll do a good job for you too. 
But I want to show you one more thing, and that's the HydroCal product. So let's go back up to the uh, table and take a look at that. So that was the hydro separator product. Now let me show you a three-in-one product that we call the HydroCal. This is a really innovative product from Cluppy. And what we wanted to do with this product here is make an enhanced air and dirt remo removal component of it. So now with one device, less cost, gives you three-in-one performance instead of separate air separator, separate dirt separator, and hydraulic separator. This is three components in one, so it really uh, makes it um, uh, cost effective. And let me show you the, the secret to the way this works is inside there we have this stainless steel mesh that goes full length from top to bottom. So instead of just depending on the flow straightener that you saw in the hydro separator, we give you more mesh in there, more sharp surface areas to collect the air and the dirt. And I'm going to try and turn this here carefully and see if you can uh, take a look inside there. And you can see what I mean about the mesh now is at the top port and it's also at the bottom port. So it does a great job of getting the air and dirt as well as the hydraulic separation component. In fact, I might just leave that there. Now, we've got some accessories that come with this, which is nice. On the bottom, we give you a nice big full port ball valve so you can flush the dirt out of it. A lot of flow coming out of that baby. That comes with it, nice quality ball valve. On the top, if you can see there, we give you a ball valve on the top, three-quarter threaded ball valve. We give you a brass nipple that screws into that ball valve. I'm not going to put it on there so it doesn't tip over and kill me. And there's our high capacity air vent that goes on the top of it. So now you've got great air removal, high capacity air removal, dirt separation, and as well as the uh, hydraulic separation. It's a true three-in-one device, one of the nicest products on the market from Kalefi.